Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Verbling. Hi, I'm Teacher Oakley. Today, in this class, we'll be having a conversation. We'll be practicing a little description, describing personality, our own personality, maybe, or maybe we'll talk about other people we know. And uh, perhaps we'll learn a little vocabulary along the way. I have some interesting uh, personality description adjectives. I think maybe some of you might find uh, to be new. Hello, Anne. How are you? Hello. You guess again. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I did. Um, I'm pretty well, thank you. And what about you? I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there, grinding through the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Anne, uh, how would you describe your personality? What do you think? You know, um, I, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, I can say that I some always energetic or some always quiet person. It depends on my mood and depends on the situation. I can, uh, I have both behavior. I have, I don't know, temperature, uh, temper, <laughs> temperament, temperament. Temperament. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's it's kind of funny that you uh, <laughs> that you mentioned that you had a slip of the tongue. I know it was an, an accident, but you you mentioned temperature, and it's funny because sometimes we say we use temperature to talk about someone, someone who is a uh, uh, hot tempered, or you know uh, they get angry quickly, or someone who's very warm is kind and sincere. Someone who is a cold fish. <laughs> Is yeah, it? it's interesting. I only uh, looked at thermometer in its room and uh, uh, and say this word: uh, "Freight will be happy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's interesting. There's a there's a lot of there's tons of vocabulary involved in when you're talking about vocabulary. I mean, when you're talking about personality. Uh, hello, Nyan. How are you? Yes, uh, I'm getting better. <laughs> Good. <laughs> she gets better. Uh, she's getting better. Uh, yes. And she coughs. You don't really sound better. To tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I don't know. You need some rest. Or you need some chicken soup. I don't know. Uh, Neon, how would you describe your personality? What do you think? Uh, about me? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of things to talk, but <laughs> now I, uh, <laughs> uh, my mind is. Uh, uh, I, I can't uh, think anything. Okay, okay. But now, I, I, yes, maybe I can. Yes, later. I can talk. Yeah, later. Later, yeah. later. You're sick. We'll, we'll take it easy on you. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> uh, hello, Med. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, welcome to the class. Where are you from, Med? I'm from Morocco. Morocco, great, terrific. I'm from Morocco. Cool. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, Med, how would you describe your personality if you could pick maybe three adjectives? Okay, so I'm going to say that I'm sociable. Sociable, mm. great. Ambitious and very friendly. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very nice. Sociable, <laughs> ambitious, and and very friendly. Well, why do you say you're ambitious? What are your? Tell me about one of your goals. Okay, so you know when I'm talking about my goals, everybody in my surroundings start thinking that I'm just dreaming. <laughs> That's why. For example, I, here in the MENA region, North Africa and Middle East, we have many wars, so I just want to stop 
the walls one day. <laughs> well, that is extremely ambitious. And mm -hmm. believe me, I wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> Any help I can give you. If uh, teaching you English helps you achieve your goals. Yeah, it will help me a lot. I, I hope so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, yes, those are very ambitious goals, but very... Uh, uh, you know, I respect that. It, it's that's very uh, impressive. I, I wish you the best. Yeah. Well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello, Alexis. How are you today? Alexis, are you there? Okay. We'll come back to Alexis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis? Yes. I know Hello, you're there. Oakley. <laughs> Hi. You? I'm I'm okay. Uh how how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how how I'm I'm dying to know how you would describe your personality. How would you describe your personality, Dennis, if you had to pick Three adjectives. Three adjectives. Uh, I'm tolerant. I'm uh, interested in everything. Okay. And I'm just absolutely inimitable. <laughs> this correct word. What was the In, last one? Uh, Inimitable, yeah. Inimitable. inimitable. <laughs> I can't good. even say it. Inimitable. Inimitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right time, yeah. Uh, okay. What is the meaning That's of an in inimitable? I have no yeah. idea. I have no I idea. I, I can't even say it. I have you no know? idea. That's because I used uh, this word. <laughs> Oh, you're testing me. But to tell you the truth, I'm not sure of the actual, the real meaning of that idea. I have to admit, uh, I've heard it to used to describe uh, people who are very um, strong, uh, outspoken people, like Winston Churchill, the inimitable Winston Churchill. Whatever that means. <laughs> I think the. We're seeing Th that's exactly who I am. Yeah. You, what's that, man? Uh, we're saying in this. We're using this adjective for describing something priceless. Something priceless. Oh yeah. well, there you go. There you go, Dennis. The priceless Dennis. That works. Okay. Yeah, uh, thanks, man. Thank you very and much. Inquisitive. Yeah, inquisitive. In inquisitive. Yeah. Somebody who's always wondering right about things and wants to find out information. Inquisitive. Yes. Yeah. I would. Yeah, I was throwing that one out there for you. Uh, okay. I All right, tried very to good. find it in my brain, but. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but I can't. Can I, may I have take the liberty of uh, of adding a couple for you, Dennis? Would that bother you? If if I made a couple observations about your personality, uh, <laughs> silence. <laughs> would it you bother you? Yeah, I'm asking no, you. No, no, okay, I I would also Absolutely describe you. No. I would also describe you as a very reserved gentleman. You you don't get emotional. You're always in control, and I think uh, Dennis is kind of suave. I think you're. Do you know suave? Ooh, uh, good one. Okay, suave. If someone is suave, they're very smooth. They're very good with the ladies. They're very charming. Uh, a little elegant, maybe even. <laughs> well dressed. Well groomed. And uh, like gentlemen, yeah, yeah, like gentlemen, exactly. I would, uh, I would call Dennis suave. I bet he's great with the ladies. I bet. <laughs> no, no, I'm not no, no, yeah, okay. I'm not a Brad Pitt. <laughs> not Brad Pitt. <laughs> ah, there you go. Brad Pitt is very suave. That's very good. Very nice. Very good. Uh, uh, hello, Batsaran. 
Hi, Hello. 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 How, how are you? Yeah, okay. I, I hear you. I'm good. I'm, great. How about you? How are, are you? you? I'm good. Are, are you suave and debonair? Uh, I don't really think so. <laughs> no? Uh, how would you describe your personality? I'm a... Uh, Sometimes I'm so excited, energetic, and sometimes I'm quite mm, okay, like upside down. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hope you're not bipolar. No, I'm joking. Many of us, uh, you know, one of the basic ways we describe personality, we describe uh, somebody as um, being an extrovert or an introvert. It's, there's a, a lot more to that, but in, in general, an, an extrovert likes to be sociable, outgoing. Uh, they're mm -hmm. often talkative, mm -hmm. uh, all those things. And an introvert is more quiet, reserved, uh, sometimes even shy. They like to have mm -hmm. more private time. Mm -hmm. and it, you know something, actually, uh, Batsaran, I, I myself, sometimes I'm an extrovert, sometimes I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. When you see me here at Verbling, I, I have to be an extrovert. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be quiet. Uh, but sometimes I'm, I'm introverted. I like quiet time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so nothing wrong with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thanks. Uh, Oakley, yeah, yeah Dennis. Okay. Uh, about uh, adjective restricted. If uh, if I say a restricted person, what it means? Restricted? Yeah. About person. Can I say it about person? Yeah. Restricted person. Well, okay. <laughs> mm, interesting question. Uh, not not really. It, it confuses me slightly. I mean, usually you're restricted from coming into uh, a certain area. If someone, if I was going to say someone is restricted, I, I don't know. I, I think I know what you're trying to say. Maybe they're, um, they, uh, they're very careful about what they say and do. Like that, they're very yes, self. Yes, some, something like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. I, I, the I person think you who could use doesn't that. like to share emotion like this, like this. Right. Okay. Uh, well, they could say you're they're unemotional. Perhaps they're self-conscious. Uh, they get a little nervous around other people, so they don't show emotions or talk very much. Um, so they hold back, uh, you know, they don't give opinions, things like that. Maybe. That, that would be, you know, I, I don't think that's a very common way to describe personality, but I would instantly understand it if I heard it or if I read it in a book or something. Interesting. Uh, you, know, you know, go ahead, use it. Uh, Rudolfo, uh, how are you? Very dangerous advice. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Just try. Just try. Let's see what happens. And we'll see. Yeah. The, the problem with saying someone is restricted, people are going to say restricted from what? Uh, usually restricted means somebody else is preventing you from doing something. That's the problem. It, it might lead to confusion, to be perfectly honest. Uh, anyway, Rudolfo. Yeah. How, how are you doing? Uh, I'm still in, in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it morning? Yes, it's morning. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. All right. Well, good morning. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good morning. What is your morning personality like? Ooh, <laughs> there's a good question. My morning personality is mm -hmm. a bit lazy, uh, uh, and also it's uh, a bit uh, stressed because I have to, to be ready for work or school. 
and also uh, is friendly. Friendly. I usually <laughs> when I when I wake up and I go out to the street, uh, I uh, say good morning to my neighbors. Uh huh. See them. Okay. Very good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, you can even use the uh, the vocabulary word neighborly is actually a way to describe a characteristic of a person, a very neighborly person, somebody who's friendly with all their neighbors, takes the time to stop and chat a little bit. Yes. Yeah, which is obviously a very positive characteristic. Yeah, I believe that, Rodolfo. I believe you're a neighborly kind of guy. That that fits, I think. Yeah, uh, I myself am an entirely different personality before I have my coffee in the morning. You don't want to know me. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> Just trust me on that one. Uh, hi, Nihan. How, how are you today? Uh, hi, Oakley. I'm doing great. Uh, I'm similar uh, to you. Uh, before my coffee, I was very aggressive. I was very angry. I don't know why. <laughs> but, oh, me uh, too. I'm uh, like a bear woken up from his uh, hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mother uh, said uh, it's about, I think, mm, What's the um, exact meaning? Mm, blood sugar or? Really? Oh, bless you. You've given me an excuse for why I act like such a jerk when I wake up. It's my blood uh, sugar. Oh, that's It's perfect. me, too. <laughs> that, that works for me. Because uh, I am not like a normal human. I I have I don't eat three meals a day. I have to eat all the time. I get I very quickly burn burn up uh, energy, and I I have it's to. It's all about your blood sugar. You it know. has to be. <laughs> it must be. Surely that is it. Okay. If somebody says you at the morning uh, before your coffee, uh, you're a jerk. You can say it. No, I'm. I'm only uh, uh, sick. I'm very yeah. sick. It's just, it's, I have low blood sugar. <laughs> yeah. I, I need medical attention. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I love that. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Alexis, are you are you here? Are you with us? I know you're here, but can you speak? Okay, Alexis, whenever you can uh, get your yourself in working order and your microphone or whatever, just uh, shout out a hello, okay? So I know I can talk to you. Uh, it appears that our old friend Marta has joined us. Hi, Marta. Marta. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to see you again. Uh, thank you. We're we're talking about personality, and uh, I was wondering if you could share with us if you uh, could give us three words to des describe, three adjectives to describe your personality. What what three adjectives might you use? Um, I don't know, calm, uh, introspective, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the third. <laughs> you don't know the third. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Calm, introspective. Ah, very nice word. Very nice word. Introspective. Uh, of course, spectacle, spectator. Uh, all of those words uh, have to do with looking, seeing, observing, and uh, intro. Of course, internal. So, looking in inside. Uh, nice word. Introspective. So, thinking. Uh, a a deep person. I might say that Marta is deep. 
someone who's deep is a, a deep thinker, thinks very thoroughly about things and thinks about their uh, um, their feelings and uh, usually tends to, because they're in touch with their own feelings, they're very good with uh, other people. Often introspective people are compassionate, meaning that they are aware of and take into account other people's emotions. Do you think you're compassionate, Marta? Mm, yes, I am. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I bet that fits you. Uh, Ooh. Okay, uh, Nian, are, are you are you ready? Are you still <laughs> too sick to speak? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I will uh, describe a little bit about myself. Okay. Uh, I'm a lazy girl, <laughs> and I'm not a determined. Uh, so uh, it made me uh, <coughs> couldn't uh, become uh, a successful person. Can you understand me? <laughs> well, I, I think um, there's thunder or something wherever Marta is. So I, I yes, I it's a the, storm. Ah, Sorry. good guess. You, yeah. don't, you don't have to apologize for the storm. I'm sure you didn't start mm -hmm. it. No, I mean, I apologize for not having switched off my microphone. It's okay, it's okay. A anyway, uh, Nyan, you're a lazy girl. We know you're lazy because you're trying to, because yesterday you were asking if you could borrow Anne's boyfriend. You're too lazy to get your own. We, we know that, okay. Yes, and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm not determined. You're not what? Determined. Mm. Determined. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Good. All right. And uh, so it made me can uh, achieve my goal. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to. <laughs> if you're. <laughs> you're not determined. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> you are. I'll give you another one. You're honest. I'll say that. <laughs> That's quite obvious to me. It's very yeah. odd. All right. If you're determined, um, it's kind of close to being ambitious. You're 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 stubborn about achieving your goals. You're determined. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, besides, I uh, prefer to stay at home or hang out with my best friends uh, than miss some new friends. So I um, only have some friends and I don't have so much experience to behave uh, others. Yeah. Uh, okay. And, so you're, yeah. you're not overly social. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, that's interesting <laughs> as well. It, Speaking uh, in, in English, sometimes we use an adverb <coughs> to sort of change the meaning overly. Uh, somebody who's sociable, okay, or they're overly social, overly aggressive, overly impatient. We, we often use that um, adverb to say, to say that somebody is, you know, a, a little more than necessary. I used it negatively, not overly sociable. Can so you I, tap can you type it? Can I type it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I said not overly social. I could say not overly sociable or not overly social, either uh, one. Yeah. It's okay. Hmm. Okay. I see some people are putting, uh, typing in the chat box some interesting adjectives. Uh, Nihan, let, let me just talk to you about what you put in the chat box. Uh, first of all, skeptical. Are you a skeptic? Someone who yeah. is skeptical is a skeptic. Yeah. Okay. I'm right. very. Uh, Quite uh, skeptic, I guess. Okay. Uh, even mm, all the evidence are 
uh, there I cannot believe everything. I always <laughs> search and search for uh -huh. everything. Okay. Uh, very good. An American might say uh, you're, you're a Missourian. Uh, Missouri, the state of Missouri in America is called the show me state. They have a national reputation of not believing anything until you sh put it in front of their face and show them. Mm, okay. Uh, another thing, Nihan, you said you're quick witty. You would say uh, in English, quick witted. With it, okay. Quick witted, yes. With uh, ed. Somebody is witty. He's a very witty person. He is quick witted. With a, yeah, ed ending. Yeah, it's, it's just how we say it in English. Somebody who's witty, that's a great characteristic. It's really two things at the same time. Smart and humorous. Smart and funny. Both. Quick witted, that's it. Yeah, very good. You're also quick with your uh, keyboard. <laughs> and a couch potato. How many couch potatoes? Every, everyone who's a couch potato, raise your hand. Couch potatoes. Me, me. Couch potatoes, uh, unite. I, I, I guess nine. <laughs> the three or three. Yeah, we are laziest person. Lazy. Yeah, Nyan, I, I bet Nyan is a couch potato. Yeah. Couch potato is somebody who just likes to sit on the couch, maybe have a snack and watch TV all day or movies or, or whatever. C can I or ask you something, Oakley? Okay. Yes, it, sure. it isn't, it, isn't it mean it's fat or obese? No, 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 it's, not it's at not all. It's not mean the couch potato is not. Abs yeah. Absolutely it not. Might, it might be, it might be, but I'm fit. I uh, I eat some snacks. I like it, but I'm fit. But I'm a really couch potato type. Mm -hmm. it, well, it, in the, in the brain. Of course, uh, me too. We have a lot in common. Uh, of course, because you have blood sugar problems and your body has a high metabolism. Yes. You burn yes, food. Exactly. You, you don't get fat. <laughs> That's just like me too. I'm the same. But I. <laughs> I do like to just sit on the couch and eat potato chips and watch. Instead like, of uh, instead of uh, a vacation or uh, doing uh, any kind of sports. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and I, I, okay, well, I'm going to go around it again I, because we we're I, you're talking about yourselves and. The, mostly positive things and I'm sure they're all correct and I'm sure you're all very wonderful lovely people. This time I'm gonna go around again and I, I want you to think about someone it doesn't matter who and you please don't say who just in case the other person is viewing <laughs> on verbally. Don't tell me who it is but think about your boss or your cousin or your friend who stabbed you in the back Think about somebody who you really don't like and tell me what their personality is. Okay? Let's talk about negative personality characteristics. Maybe even yourself. Well, yeah, but especially if it's yourself, don't tell me who it is. <laughs> yeah. I can't um, handle the truth. And. Go, go okay, uh, people yeah. who I really uh, don't like are usually um, arrogant. Uh, yeah, they're proud of themselves. And uh, uh, usually people uh, who don't like, uh, they have the same features of character. So I can uh, tell about all people who I don't, know, or don't, okay. I don't like. Uh, so usually, yes, it's arrogant and... Uh, I, if I can say proud of himself. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, actually, Marta added something in the chat box, which is very much along the same lines. Somebody who's self-congratulatory. Oh, I'm I'm great. Oh, <laughs> pat myself on the back. Yeah, uh, yeah. Overly proud, arrogant. Mm hmm. Not really positive characteristics. Very negative. I agree. Uh, not good. Uh, Boxer on. 
Batsaran, are, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Batsaran, think of somebody you really dislike. Maybe your mm. boss. <laughs> and uh, tell me what they're like. What, what's what their personality is like? I think liar. Liar. Hmm. Mm. And uh, uh, aggressive. Aggressive. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. Very few of us would actually say, "Oh, I like liars." <laughs> yeah. It's hard to be friends well, with a liar. Boy, boy. It's interesting sometimes. Creative liars. Creative liars? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've known a couple salesmen who I was just in awe of. How can you actually say the things you say with a straight face? Oh, my goodness. The thing is, that's why I could never stay as in the salesman business. I just do not have that ability. It, you have a good point, Dennis. You know, sometimes somebody who can lie like unbelievably, <laughs> and everybody believes them. It's you just stand back and watch like a show. Like, my goodness, I had a friend who would he could tell people. Yes. You should he tell people. Of he could tell people anything. He could say, "Hey, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Oakley's a cannibal." Oh yeah, it's true. And he would get people to believe the most outrageously crazy things. And it was just, it was <laughs> something to observe. Unbelievable. How about well, you, Dennis? All, all, yeah. all, 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 all books uh, are written by liars. If to speak in general terms. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, well, not, not, not even books, all art. Interesting. Uh, interesting idea. Hmm. Okay. Huh. That's uh, very, very interesting. <laughs> oh, Rudolfo. Yeah, okay. The never ending story. It's a never ending story reference. Okay. Yes, join me on Saturday, everyone, for the never-ending story. We can talk about cannibals and zombies. Uh, <laughs> a game? Yeah, it is a game. Nihon, you should join us. You might enjoy it. Uh, it's not a game. It's a serious game. It is serious, and we are yeah. the writers. No. We are I the liars. <laughs> liar. I know. <laughs> I have joined two of them. Yeah, that's right. You've been there. That's right. You know. Okay. Not yeah, to say yeah. writers. At at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Now, now you mention it, but you should see where we have progressed. You'll have to join us again. Okay. Dennis. Okay. Dennis, can you tell me about a? Don't say who, but tell me about the personality of someone you don't like. Uh, well, I don't like people. Just in general, just stupid people. Uh, people uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, people without a sense of humor. Uh, not necessarily people full of jokes, but humor in general, very interesting humor. Ironic, very creative humor. Okay. Uh, and I don't, yeah. And no, I don't like uh, what is uh, the adjective from color? Adjective for color. Co color? Colorful? Co coward. 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 Uh, coward yeah. um, well, he, he, to describe someone's personality, he's a coward. Um, cowardice is the noun. Um, He's cowardly, I guess. So he okay, acts cowards. cowardly. Cowards, also in general, mm -hmm. not uh, necessarily something about action, but about your opinions, your words, your attitudes, and everywhere. Okay, interesting. Yeah, if I if I can comment personally. I don't mind stupid people. 
some some stupid people. My best friend is just a stupid guy, but he is he would give you the shirt off his back. He is so kind to everyone. He's frankly way too kind. Uh, he's a super nice guy, but you know what I don't like? I don't like stupid people who are stupid by choice meaning they are self-righteous. They decide everything I know is right, so I don't have to listen to anyone, and I don't have to learn anything, because I know everything. And they decide yes, um, to be stupid. Full of that, that I hate. Advices. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean uh, intelligence. Okay, all right. Just, yes, stupid person in general. Yeah, People okay. who people who act in stupid way. So, okay. So. All right. All right. Well, I frequently act in a stupid way. <laughs> no, me. no, it's not a stupid way. Maybe... Silly. Okay. I act in a silly yeah, way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, silly. Okay. silly. It's all not right. so bad. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, Marta, it's very what... boring you know, to always be smart. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, also, it's about right. humor. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You have a lot of sense of humor to do silly things. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. M Marta, how, how about you? We're talking about n negative personality characteristics. Um, personally, I like uh, people who think they are superior. They who the people who are not humble. I mean, I think that the adjective can be haughty. Haughty, I don't know. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Haughty. It's H A U G H T Y. Ah. Yes, it is. Good word. <laughs> ah. I can I can pronounce it properly. No, no, no. You did. That you are absolutely right. It's haughty, and I should actually. Uh, well, well, come on. All right. Oh, very good one. I, I always forget about this word, haughty. Someone who's we can in English we often say stuck up. They have their nose in the air. They walk down the street and they don't look at anyone. The opposite of uh, <laughs> neighborly. They wouldn't talk to their neighbors. They're too good for their neighbors. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Haughty. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, of of course, uh, that word is a homonym. Uh, a homonyms are two words that sound the, the same. They're different spellings, but the, the words sound the same. And, of course, you could describe someone as haughty. They're stuck up. They're a snob. Uh, they're arrogant. Okay, or I, you know, if I, if, if I also, I just have to share in the chat box. If I say that that woman is a hottie, <laughs> that, that means something quite different. Actually, that that's kind of a compliment. That means she's very, very attractive. Okay, anyway, but they both sound a lot. They're a lot. They sound alike pronunciation. So, anyway. Those are called homonyms when that happens. Hi, uh, Nihon, what are you trying to... Okay. Dennis, okay. yeah. Uh, what's uh, the difference between haughty and uh, smug, for example? Haughty and smug. Yeah. Ooh, I have... That's... Uh, uh, what's the difference? Ugh. Not much. I think those are pretty much synonyms. Um, smug... Okay, haughty is a little different. Haughty means somebody who's uh, very arrogant, who thinks they're superior and above other people. Uh, smug is somebody, like I was describing, who's very self-righteous, who is absolutely sure that they are right. They are 100% sure they couldn't be wrong. They're very smug. So we can describe a personality as smug, Smug, S-M-U-G, smug. Um, or, or we can describe someone, we often describe somebody in a specific situation. Okay? Um, somebody 
uh, got another employee fired, but they felt they they were very smug about it. They they didn't have uh, any uh, any bad feelings about it. They had no guilt about it whatsoever. They were very smug. They were sure they did the right thing. Okay, so we often use smug to talk about a specific situation. So there's a little difference there. Smug about it that situation. Um, Nian, what are you what are you doing over here in the chat box? Hi, had hi hat, hi hat. Yeah, uh, when you are speaking uh, about uh, huggy, maybe Hockey. hi yeah hi hat uh, is the similar one. Ah, ah, you know we ha okay hi hat I, I I'm not familiar with, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There are many, for example, British idioms I I don't know. I don't know every idiom in English ever made, but we do have one in in a, in, in American English. I'll share with you. If someone is being very haughty or smug, uh, very <laughs> superior acting. Uh, we say, well, he's on his high horse. So we may say, get off your high horse and talk to me like a real person. <laughs> Step down from your feeling of superiority. Someone on a high horse, like the king or nobility, would have a big horse. You have to look up at them. Get off your high horse. <laughs> we say to someone who's being uh, very smug, actually. Uh, hmm, I wonder, maybe related, not sure. Uh, Nihan, what, what do you, somebody who's very, who you, uh, you, well, yeah, you've been throwing out tons in the chat box, but thinking about somebody who you don't like, how would you describe their personality? Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I can say... Uh, I, I I already write it uh, in the chat box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't like bossy people. Bossy, and, okay. Uh, and cynical. Cynical. People. Oh. Yeah. I... And um, what was the word? Gr uh, gr grumpy. Grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Have you ever you can guess who am I talking about? <laughs> but don't say the name. <laughs> no. No, I can't. <laughs> Grumpy. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes it's kind of fun. You can think about uh, adjectives to describe personality. There's a couple of things you can think of. Uh, you can think of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> Grumpy, dopey, <laughs> sneezy. Okay. Uh, it, Another interesting thing, we, I, at the very beginning of class with Anne, I talked about temperature. Someone who's hot-blooded is easily angered or easily emotional. Someone who's warm is nice. Uh, someone who's cool is a little bit unemotional, detached, uh, un, un, unexpressive. Someone who's cold is extremely unattached, cold, and very unemotional. Uh, Another one is, think about tastes. I wonder if you guys know these. Do you know salty? If someone is salty, my grandfather was salty. Man, he was salty. Uh, you know, does anybody know salty? Oh, that is a good one. Uh, a salty person, my grandfather, he would, uh, in, in English... In British English, sometimes they say dry. Somebody who has a dry sense of humor. He's very dry. Someone who makes a joke or uh, makes uh, says something very witty but never cracks a smile. Uh, they they say it like it's just they're just making a statement, but it's actually if you think about it, their intonation is uh, intonation of very serious intonation. But what they're saying is very funny if you think about it. Someone who's salty is very funny. Um, it's a little different. Dry, they're very, very unemotional looking ex and uh, expression. Somebody who's salty sometimes is very angry seeming. 
but they're not really angry, but they're funny, really funny. Maybe they swear, use too many curse words. <laughs> sailors are salty. I think that's where the word comes from. Imagine a sailor who swears a lot, who's very, very funny. You would say he's very salty. Um, no, but we spicy is not the same. Somebody salty. We have spicy. Does anybody know what spicy means? If someone's very spicy. Anybody? No? Uh, that gets irritated very easily or angry very easily. Uh, well, kind of. Yeah, the, I think uh, I think Batsaran is actually close or very good. Uh, somebody who's energetic and yeah, maybe that means they get angry very early, uh, very easily, but they're a little bit louder than normal. They're also very, very extroverted. A, a spicy person is, it's the girl who stands on the table in the bar and starts dancing. She's the spicy girl. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and maybe she's a little sharp. Maybe maybe she uh, you say something, you make a joke, and she slaps you across the face. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> spicy. Uh, not dirty, no, not dirty. She's very, sh she's just not subtle. There we go. Somebody who's spicy is not subtle. Not subtle about what they think. Not subtle about how they act. They want to dance on the table, they dance on the table. They want to slap your face, they slap your face. A and it, part of it is because they're very energetic. They have a lot of energy. And they're very, they're all over aggressive. the place. Yeah, and a little aggressive. Very good, Batsaran. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay, salty, spicy, sweet. All right, I'm sure we all know sweet. Someone who's sweet is kind and giving. That's a very, very normal one. Uh, how about sour? If someone is a sour person. Yes. Anybody know? Sour? Sure. All of these that I'm discussing with you now are flavors. You know, salty, sweet, like chocolate. Yeah. Sour, like a lemon. Marta, do you know sour? Yes, I, I think that the, um, people can be sour when they are not kind, when they are sharp, I know. Yes, yeah, sharp, very good. They're very... Yes, very sharp, meaning you're very direct in your comments and sometimes cruel or a little mean. Yes. Maybe if, aggressive. Well, if you can imagine, think about sour. Think about a lemon. You all know a lemon, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. You take a lemon and you put a lemon in your mouth, what happens? Ooh. You do this. If you've ever seen somebody walking around your office and they're... <laughs> they look like that all day? They look like they've been sucking on lemons? <laughs> Chances are that's a sour person. <laughs> yeah. Sour people actually look like they've been eating something sour. They have a scowl. This expression like frown, big frown and the furrowed eyebrows. You know, sour person. In uh, Russian, we, 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 we say uh, with a sour face. A sour face. We use the same expression in, in English, actually. Yeah. Uh, last one, bitter. Like garlic and onions, coffee is bitter, the flavor. Kind of different meaning in English if you're using it to describe a person. You can say a bitter person and be talking about their personality, for sure. Is anybody angry, angry right? Very good. Um, not only angry, but somebody who stays angry a very long time. Very long time. Or if someone has a bitter personality, they're angry about many things, and they just they, they never drop their anger. He's a bitter they old man. Complain. They always complain. Exactly. Yes. He's a bitter old man. <laughs> so yeah. they, they, they have resentment 
kind of resentment. Perfect. That, that's a perfect answer, Marta. Someone who has, is holding resentment, holding it in their heart, and, and holds it for a long time. Again, much like I described smug, you can be smug about a situation. Somebody can have a bitter personality or they can be bitter about a specific thing. He's very bitter about his divorce. You know, maybe he's okay about everything else and it's not really an integral part of his personality, but he's still bitter about his divorce. Don't, don't talk about it. That would be something normal to say. Uh, yeah, and I, are you... <laughs> Are you still there? Are you still with yeah. us? <laughs> okay. I'm here. Nyan, I never asked you about. Uh, I never asked you what. What about somebody you don't like? What are some characteristics or traits of yes. someone you you don't like? Um, I don't like uh, someone to take advantage of uh, uh, others. Uh, I can't it. believe you said that. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Sorry, uh, yeah. Can you understand me? You, I think you said you don't like uh, people who who are easily offended by others. Yeah. Yeah, and I, that's why I acted like an idiot, and I said, "I can't believe you said that." <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I take I advantage. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Continue. I'm sorry. Because uh, I have uh, I have a classmate, and she has a boyfriend, but she uh, doesn't say it uh, with other guys if uh, they want to uh, date with her. Uh, and uh, in addition, uh, when she wants uh, someone has her, uh, she speak with them in the artificial artificial way, and uh, I I uh -huh. hate this. Yeah. Oh. You're talking about people who can be fake or put up a false front. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> okay. That's oh. There we go. There's a negative uh, characteristic. There's a somebody who is. You're talking about in English, Jan. Somebody who is two-faced. Ooh, yeah. This is a bad one. Um. Somebody who is two-faced will to your face. They'll say. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful dress you're wearing today. You look gorgeous. And then they'll, when you walk away, they'll tell somebody else, she looks like a clown. Somebody who's two-faced. To your face, they're nice to you, and then they talk bad things. They talk behind your back. Okay. Yeah, that's very... I really hate that. Yeah. I, I really dislike that. I agree with you. That really um, bothers me. Um. I also had someone always when people had them why they can do it by themselves. Okay. Mm. You you don't like people who help Yes, always once uh someone help them oh. but uh, they, they can do it by themselves. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. People who always ask somebody to help them, even though they could do it themselves. Yeah, yeah. that's that's beyond lazy. That's something else. Entirely. I'm lazy, but I, I don't do like that. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it by myself. Okay. I'm happy to hear you don't do that yourself. Yeah. Right. I understand. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. Okay. People who... Um, we have an interesting uh, English idiom. People who pass the buck. If you pass the buck, you pass the responsibility from one person to another. All right. People who pass the buck don't take responsibility themselves. They they let other people do things, even though they maybe they should be doing it. You pass the buck. Uh, Rodolfo, and I, I haven't asked you any uh, about any of your, if, what do you not like personality-wise? Well, I don't like uh, uh, a person that, uh, I would describe his personality as uh, very competitive because 
he always wanted wants to challenge me in everything I like, and I mm -hmm. don't like that. He's always like, oh, uh, I'm gonna do the same uh, you're doing because I want to be best better than you. And I'm like, hey, keep me away from that kind of things, please. <laughs> So right. he is very materialistic. Uh, mm. He always says that he just wants to work for money, and money is almost uh, everything for him. And yeah. he is uh, kind of arrogant. Uh, yeah. Because uh, he is sometimes uh, no, I would say more like imprudent, imprudent. Im Impr oh, there's two words here. Are you saying imp impudent or imprudent? Imprudent. Okay. Uh, because he likes to say things that can be a bit uh, offensive, but he says, uh, no, I'm being honest. Uh, ah, right. Okay. If you're prudent, you're diplomatic and careful about what you say. If you're imprudent, yeah, exactly as Rodolfo described. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, that can sometimes be one of my character flaws. Now, as much as I love to think we're all perfect people, we all have character flaws. And that's actually one of mine. Sometimes I can be imprudent. I can say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Usually I'm just trying to joke, I'm trying to be funny, but then after I'm... I feel embarrassed. Unlike your friend or the guy you know, I feel embarrassed when I'm imprudent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, and I have my character flaws, as we all do. I can be very cynical, definitely. I can be very lazy and a couch potato. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, some other interesting words. We've only got a couple minutes. Uh, I, I wonder if anybody knows these words. First, uh, Nihan put in finicky. Does anybody know finicky? Anybody? Bob besides Nihan, obviously. Mm -hmm. Finicky or fussy? I can ask, explain. Yeah, go ahead. Um, when you always uh, want things to be very perfect, and so you are always fixing these things. Yeah. Uh, kind of, um, how can I uh, pronounce it? Per per perfectionist or perfectionist. Perfectionist. Exactly. Yeah, a synonym yeah. of fusy, and uh, I hate that kind of uh, people because a lot of uh, them around me, they always want everything uh, should be perfect. No, they yeah. shouldn't. Yeah. But they. Uh, their characteristic is most certainly you don't want one of those people to be your boss. I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah. It's uh, very dangerous. Yes, finicky, fussy, a nitpicker. It's uh, sort of an idiom we use. Uh, he's a nitpicker. Uh, nits are tiny insects that you know, like monkeys pick off each other's back. Okay, yeah. Controlling, uh, another one. Who knows, uh, does anybody know what a curmudgeon is? I just like this word. There's there's some words in English I just like. I like to say curmudgeon. An old curmudgeon. Anybody know curmudgeon? You, you might have a grandfather or older relative who's an old curmudgeon. Hmm. They're, they're kind of... The, you know, they, yeah. they're the kind of old guy who sits around with, with a face like, Hey, get your feet off the table. <laughs> you kids, get off the lawn. Jesus Christ, get me right with me. Always old. in a bad mood. Yeah, grumpy old man, a curmudgeon. <laughs> it's a fun word. Uh, do you know, uh, do you know wimp? Somebody's a wimp. Oh my God, he's such a wimp. Wimp. Oh, Hi. this is very common in, in English. Shy or? Close. So
somebody who is a wimp is afraid to stand up to anyone else. They will never stand up for themselves. They, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Go stand in the corner. Yes, yes. They will never stand up to authority. They will always do what they're told. Um, somebody, you know, if it's a guy, the wife controls him completely. He doesn't even think for himself. He's really a wimp. He's afraid to do anything. He's afraid to stand up, stand up for himself. A coward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a coward, a, a big time coward. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I one more because I wanted to share it with you. A bandwagon jumper. <laughs> I think I've done this in a class before. You might have heard me use this. A bandwagon jumper. <laughs> I like this one. It's idiomatic, obviously. Uh, someone who's a bandwagon jumper does whatever is popular. Uh, in sports, for example, okay, if the Magic win in the National Basketball Championship, then they love the Magic. They're the best team ever. And they get a Magic t-shirt. Magic, oh, yeah, woo, their best team. Next year, when the Celtics win, they love the Celtics. The Celtics, I've always been a Celtics fan. Go Celtics. No matter what's going on, you pop stars, politics, anything that's happening, they go with the crowd. And they're the loudest fan in the crowd. They're, they're oh, it's great. You should do this. Oh, whatever's popular. Oh, the new Samsung Galaxy. I got one. It's the best. And the only reason they buy that particular device is because it's the most popular. Okay, that is a bandwagon jumper. Oh, very it's a annoying expression. Okay. In do, you use it? do you use it in your own speech? I do. Speech? I definitely do. You would. It's interesting that you ask. Um, American men would probably use this more because American men, uh, many of them, l love sports: baseball, football, basketball, and we get so pissed off. When people are bandwagon jumpers, we hate that because we have the same team for 30 years, and a lot teams, you know, it goes in cycles. Your team stinks. Your team can't win a game, but you keep supporting your team. And then there's this other guy who's always rooting for the winner. You just you want to strangle them, and they're always talking about the winning team. You, you just want to <laughs> strangle those people. Like ah, uh, uh, whatever. It, it annoys me. Anyway, I'm over time. I'm actually late. I gotta be somewhere. I gotta go. Thanks a lot.